born with a silver spoon in my mouth, my spoon had slots. I only saw the slots, the holes, not the shine, nor the shape, nor the curves, nor the silver pearls, just the holes. Holes shaped like teardrops, holes with the substance draining out, the sadness. With a flick of the wrist, with a different angle of perception, like light in dearly, truly held, tears of sadness become tears of joy. Gratitude. For the blue stones that hold into darkness the heat of day, and the heron who waits for his feast is never for a moment thankless. So for the last poem, um, Eloise had this poem already written. She sent it to me and I stuck lines in between hers. So we're gonna read back and forth with these lines here. Speak of peace, my love, speak of peace. Do not speak of the pain or the suffering in this world so incomprehensible. Do not speak of the boy you know, his third night without food, the police who come for him outside the school. Do not speak of the homeless on our streets, so alone. Do not speak of the cemetery behind your home, the stones turned over, used to line townhouse walkways. Do not speak of the refugees abandoned in this world so cruel nor of murders by terrorist bombers or right-wing politicians, so violent. Do not speak of the teacher who was friends with your mother, the photo of him on the news, the small girls they could not name. Do not speak of the suicides of our First Nations, their world so hopeless. Do not speak of the skin and pelts they seemed, their mouths still slick with sand do not speak of the corporate rape of our land and water and air, our lives so futile. Do not utter words of hatred, anger, nor jealousy. Speak of peace.